This is so cool. Take number three for day number three of Kwanzaa. I'm RJ Jackson, the Courage Giver, and this is my friend Amika. And today we're going to talk to you about Kwanzaa. We're going to talk to you about day number three and what it means. So I just want to do a review for those of you who are new, for those of you who have been with us. Hope you've been practicing the Kwanzaa principle. So let's go back to day number one. Day number one was unity. Day number two was self-determination. And here we are, day number three. And for day number three, we're talking about cooperative cooperatively working together and responsibility. Yes, I'm going to get it together. And because sometimes I mess it up, I need help. And that's why I have Amika here today because we're going to talk about this thing about working together. So let me give you the word in Swahili. So the first day was Umoja. And that, remember, is unity. The second day was Kruji Chakalia. That's like my favorite one. Kruji Chakalia. And that's self-determination. And the Swahili word for today, which is Working together cooperatively and responsibility is um Umoja. Okay, so here we are today with Umoja and we're going to talk about working together. And so, what is working together? It's one people, one person coming together with another saying, hey, we're different, but we have something we can pull together to complete the puzzle and make it happen. And I think Amika is a really good example of that. Because let me tell you what she does. She works together with her community and with her church to help solve problems for other people. So, Amika, I know right now you're working faithfully on a campaign, yes. a cause. Tell us about it. We are just, we're here working together just to bring um, unity to her people. We just want to welcome everyone in. It's, this is what it's all about. This is what it's all about, just getting everyone together and knowing that we need each other to, um, that's what Jesus wants. He wants us to get together and, and bring everyone love, and that's what we're doing here. We're working together just to provide a, a safe place for hurt and healing to, to begin. Working together because we need each other to yes. survive. And yes. speaking of surviving, one of the cause that you're working on is for a four-year-old little girl. Yes, we're Tell us about that. It. That's for um, little Lauren Hope Gentry. She is in need of a heart right now. Um, so we're working to just build prayer for her. She's in Loma Linda Hospital right now. And her mom, Camille, is a good friend of mine. And we are just working just to spread prayer. This little girl has touched so many people already in the community. Um, bringing people to Jesus and we have um, donations going out we have food um, coming in and she's just bringing everyone together and, and with that we're we're hoping that um, everyone will come in and start praying for her and witness this miracle that's taking place she's gonna get a new heart soon and we want everyone to be part of this miracle and miracles happen when we work together yes. so on the basketball court how do they win the game they work together in a community, how do we make things happen? We work together. So today I want to challenge you to go out and work together. Day number three for Kwanzaa, and let me get it right this time, is Umoji. Okay, so I got it right this time. <laughs> Help me out when I get it wrong, because together we can make a difference. Happy Kwanzaa, and until soon, keep up your courage.